Hey there, and welcome back to another Now You Know episode featuring Henny Penny's new F5 low oil volume open fryer. My name is Scotty here in the Five Point Demo Kitchen, and today we're going to take a dive into programming a product on our control panel. And with the F5's new touchscreen interface, it's easier than ever to customize your menu items with time, temperature, and even pictures to get the consistency you're looking for. I got 99 products, but let's start with just one. Whether the fryer is on or off, select the menu option in the bottom left corner of the screen. Next, select food item settings from the submenu and enter the super secret code 1234. From here, we have several options to manage your food items, but let's create new food item. And starting with cooking time. By scrolling with your finger, you can move up or down to select minutes first, followed by seconds to your desired cook time. Keep going. There we are. Once you're done, hit the done button and select cooking temperature. By default, this goes to your set point, so we're going to leave it at 350 degrees. Select the next button, where we get to advanced cooking parameters. Hit the show drop down menu to see the advanced settings we're able to edit. First is load compensation. By default, this is set to 10, and again, load compensation makes up for slowing the timer or speeding it up based on the volume of the batch you drop. Our load comp reference temperature is going to be our set point, 350 in this case, so we'll leave that be. Full heat time can be adjusted by scrolling using your finger. Again, default is 10, for this we're leaving at five. Lastly, PC factor. This can be edited just like the rest of our settings, but we're gonna leave this at default five and select the next button. Our shake alert for if we need to shake during the cooking process. And this is customizable again by selecting at what time you would like the user to shake the product. Select the next button for our quality timer. In this case, we won't be using it, but this will alert when a new batch needs to be dropped after cooking one previously. Next, show food item on VAT. We're gonna leave that checked yes, so the image shows on our main screen of food items. From here, we can select an image for our product, and we can choose from the default images on the control panel or upload one ourselves. We'll show you how to upload an image in a future Now You Know video, but for now, we'll select the wings icon. By hitting next, we're asked to give our item a name. Use the keyboard to customize the name of your menu item. And finally, the last screen will let us see all of the settings we were able to customize for our food product. If there's any last minute adjustments or you wanna review what you put in, here's a screen to do it before hitting save and our food product has been stored. To double check and make sure your item is there, click on the cook left or cook right side and find the product. And that's it. Well, there we go. And now you know how to program a product on the F5 series open fryer. As I mentioned, each control panel can store up to 99 customized programs. And the best part is once you've programmed one control panel, you can simply download those items to a USB stick and upload them to another control panel. We'll show you this later in our Now You Know series. Interested in seeing it live for yourself? Then make sure to check out our website and book a demo to learn all things Henny Penny. And stay tuned for our next video where we show you the fastest filtration cycle on the market and what it looks like when the fryer asks us to filter. But that's all I have for you today. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss an update on our Now You Know series. 
My name is Scotty in the 5-Point Demo Kitchen, and I'll see you next time.